I joined the Air Force October 2007. I wrote my book in Iraq in a, in a small little office, you know, so I, I, probably, I know I'm never going back there to go visit it, but, you know, there's a little computer right there. I see it right there, just typing away. My friends be like, what are you doing? Writing a book? Like, yeah, actually I am. Right now, I'm extremely nervous. I'm anxious all at the same time. Um, nevertheless, I'm excited. So I'm just ready to get this thing kicked off and actually over with. And uh, that's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I was born and raised in uh, Texarkana, Texas. Pretty much everyone knew everyone during that time. My grandmother raised me. I was 15 years old when my grandmother passed away. Uh, my mom, she was, you know, very much present as well. My sophomore, junior year of high school, where I actually moved back in with my mom. And that's where we actually started to bond, right there when I moved in with her. It was just for a couple of years, and I was off to Houston, Texas. To go from there to the big city, uh, college brought me there. It was a great experience while it lasted, but it exposed me to an awful lot. Uh, I went to Texas Southern University. Some drama happened down there to where they said the school wasn't going to be accredited, so I picked up my bags and said I'm going to UT Arlington. So, uh, I joined the Air Force October 2007, went through basic and went through tech school. And then um, my first deployment was 2009, and that's actually how I was able to get into writing. I started writing Catching Hell in the Middle East in Iraq. While I was in Kuwait, no, not Kuwait, Crib, Stephanie, would you raise your hand? She remembers the little printout. I went to the church and printed out this dirty material, some of it anyway. Um, it was like hot glued together um, pamphlet. And I just passed it like, hey, you know, just read this, read this, guys. You know, it's some funny stuff. I didn't know I could come up with some of this stuff in my head. And if you guys really know me, you guys know that it's not me. However, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> um, so, a little bit about the book. It's uh, it's an erotic fiction. I think I have to classify that, or give it that genre because there's smut in it. Good smut. Um, <laughs> But uh, it's basically about a young black couple who uh, was doing really well in the world. You know, a black, young, successful businessman. He worked for a pharmaceutical company. And he, uh, him and his girlfriend, they were expecting their first child. But she cheated on him while she was pregnant. And um, I think how I put it, she just brought the drama with hot, wet, lustful sex. At least that's what the synopsis says. <laughs> so those individuals who just left me, Jay and Carrie, um, he thought a part of the book was about him. And I was trying to inform him that it was not, but it was a part in there that he was reading and he felt like it was related to him because when I call, he doesn't answer and things of that nature. So he, he took that personal and then he told his wife that the book was actually about them because of pharmaceutical sales and things like that. There's details in the book that they can relate to. So they wanted to bring that up and like, hey, did you, did you write this about me? You know, so that's basically what that little conversation was about. I've known Brandon since undergrad of college. I've known Brandon pretty much all my life. I've known Brandon, I would say, at least 20, 20 years, if not more. 
Like, yeah, all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know his mind could be that nasty. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, he's I mean, pretty nasty. He's pretty nasty. Yeah. He's pretty nasty. It's pretty, um, uh, what's the it's word? pretty intense. Yeah, vulgar. Yeah. I had to bring my mom to read it with me because I was like, this is Brandon. You know, the Brandon that came to Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Like, this is the same guy. Did you really write that? <laughs> yeah. Like, by there yourself? Needs, there needs to be a disclaimer on the cover. <laughs> like, explicit, explicit sexual content. Right. You know, we know, you know, what he went to school for, what he got his degree in and what he does day to day. And so for this to be totally opposite, again, it, it just lends to his ambition. I mean, this is how we're made. People have sex and they have kids. And in that book, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in, the, in my book, when I wrote it. You're nasty. <laughs> Pretty raunchy, yeah. It's I mean, raunchy. But, but did it make, people do it. Did it make you feel some kind of way? It made me think different of you, Brandon. No, did it make it feel a certain way? Like, did it turn uh, you on? Like, yeah. Yeah, like when I read, sometimes I get into the moment. I don't know the author, but when I read, I'm just like, oh my god, like this is good. Mm -hmm. But then when you guys read it, do you get the same effect, or are you just like, oh my god, this is Brandon? I cannot go pull out my toy. No. Okay, so <laughs> mine is that part, but yeah, no. <laughs> so for me, it was like, oh, this is Brandon. Like, it didn't provoke any like, you know, feelings. Like. Ooh. I didn't think that you could This take is it there. romantical. You didn't think that I could I take it there? Think you could really? take it there. I didn't oh, think I, I thought he could. Wait a minute now. Yeah. I, I, I knew it was in you. He likes to front a lot, so well, he's this <laughs> Puritan kind of <laughs> kind of guy, but he's not. Time out. <laughs> as far as the content, what were you like most by. I read The Coldest Winter Ever, that book. I don't oh, know yeah. if you read that. Best yeah. book ever. You know? I so, shout out all the way there. Sister I read Soldier. that book, and yeah, yeah Sister yeah. Soldier. Yeah. And I mean, I hope she sees this one day, but who knows? I read that book, and I was like, I can do this. I can, I can write a book. You know, I can write a book. I started thinking about um, different sex scenes that I've seen on TV um, that people have told me about, like. That you've experienced too. I have to, I mean, for the details in the book, like, you had, you had to have, I haven't had sex at that well. point. You hadn't had sex at the time you wrote the book? No. Stop. Is that a lie? lie? Yeah, it's just, that stop. is a lie, right? Lie. 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 Now, come on and tell the truth. Okay, well, maybe, but none of my, no, I would never put my sex out there. Sabrina, he has had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina's mom. Sabrina Warwick. Well, she knows that now. <laughs> You know, this character, it's almost like I'm following his life. That's so weird. And again, 2009, I wasn't going through much. You know, I was young, dumb, you know, over there in Iraq, just being a man, you know, thinking about different things I couldn't act on while you're in the desert, you know. Um, that, when, when I think about that, it, it, it does. It's, it's almost like I'm following Kevin's life, you know, because I've, I've gone through a different chain of events, you know, over the past, you know, few years or so. And in that book, he went through one thing that was tough, you know, and he was like, okay, you know, I can move on from this. You know, you're not the only girl out there. It's more fish in the, you know, in the sea. And I think about my life now and, you know, my first deployment, it was hard, you know, and then time goes on, and I've just been catching hell. <laughs> you know, I've been catching hell over the years too. Depending on how this book, how well this book does, which it's been there a little bit, people are just like, okay, wh when's another? You know, when's the next book coming out? And I'm just like, well, this one, I just put this one out. You know, and it was like, it was done. You were done a long time ago. Like, you should have really had two or three books. I'm just like, oh, I have a life. Do you not have you not watched my Snapchat? Like. <laughs> But depending on how how well this book does, it's gonna dictate if I take it up to the next level and and write another book or not. I'm I'm itching to do it already. I've been doing like little short short poems and everything like that. If I write another book, I think that I'm gonna take it to a different level. I might try to reach another audience, but then boom, come back to the little raunchy stuff you know not to say that that defines me or it fits me but 
it's relatable. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really relatable. And the book is not just all about sex and smut and all that. It's just in there. The book actually has a really good storyline and it kind of, you know, again, tells how this man or this couple, you know, went through a really rough patch in their life and how they overcame it. I'm Brandon Warwick, uh, the author of Catching Hell, which you can find on Kindle Fire, you can find Barnes & Noble, Amazon, uh, NewGenerationPublishing.com. You can find my Instagram page, author underscore B Warwick, or you can also find me on Facebook, just regular old Brandon Warwick. There's two of us on there, maybe more now. There's a white guy named Brandon Warwick, and there's me.